What are you doing over here, bub? Oh, welcome back, Aaron. <laughs> we're just continuing our work on the treader taxi. We're getting the eye panel ready to go between the fuel tanks, and we're gonna be putting these wires all zip tied. We're gonna be putting these wires all zip tied. <laughs> I'm so exhausted. Don't have two kids under two. It's all like, it's the best advice I can ever give anybody. Space them out just a little bit. At so least you can a year get and some, a half or two. So, so you can get some naps in between theirs. Yeah, so we're gonna get these wires zip tied in here all nice and neat, they're not just flopping around everywhere. And then um, we're gonna get this thing hooked underneath the truck. We've got the train horns installed, which is really tedious up underneath there. We didn't get much film, so I'll show you guys where we mounted them. And I've got some little bus bars mounted there. that has got some nice wiring. And uh, we're gonna get the shift products lights installed. Really cool stuff. If you can guess where I'm at, I'll give you a dollar. We got the horns mounted up under here. They're mounted to the bunk. We trimmed the uh, deck plate a little bit right here. We're going to put some like weather stripping around it to kind of hide where we made the cut there. And I've got some other cool stuff I made I want to show you. All right, so we've added a lot of lights on the truck, and we're making these light brackets to go underneath the suspension. We've sort of added these bus bars under here because we already had like the shock box cover and stuff like that running to these factory harness you can see right here and um so what i did is tied the factory light harness that went for the midship lights from both sides from right here and right here into these bars and that should provide just enough power to run the lights we're going to run since it's all leds to these bus bars right here and kind of just kind of organize things instead of having just a bunch of wires butt connected into everything we've just got those sweet little units right there all right our eye panel is mounted these are another thing, like, I wish I could show you guys, like, everything we're doing, but most of the stuff that's, like, up underneath the truck, like, I just, you see me on turn it up under there, <laughs> I'm slurring my words, I'm so tired, that you can't really show every little thing we're doing, so, eye panel is mounted, the lights are all wired, I've got extra wires right here, we're gonna run on the rest of the frame to put our uh, shift lights on here, and shortly, probably gonna finish that up tomorrow, um, that will get this peeled off. I think this is from 12 Gauge Customs. We picked this up from the 75 Chrome Shop a while back. Dang, that looks fresh. Now, I really want to put like a panel back there to cover the rears. But this is like truck now. This show truck. There's no like, what do you call it? Like working looking truck about it anymore. Like everything up here is covered. You see a dry shaft now. That's about it. The gaps are all filled, ready to. Yeah, there's literally, show. yeah, everything's just filled in. You know, there's no no holes anywhere so it looks good we'll get this peeled off we'll kick the lights on turn turn the lights out in here and kick the lights on all right we'll see what she looks like <laughs> it's a little voltage it's not gonna do nothing all right let's try that again oh American flag on the floor so bada bing bada boom Can you see me okay? Yeah. Once you put these lights in here, I'll have some amber lights glowing inside here from the shift. You'll have the fenders all we'll have, glowing up. We'll have lights up under here and get the fender glowing right here. It's gonna look freaking sick. It's gonna smell look awesome. Can't wait. Can't wait. All right, guys, we're back up here with this glorious New Year's Eve with a family up here at the semi-casual shop. And I've got Gunner in his power wheels. He doesn't have to drive yet. That's got a remote. We've been whipping them around. We're about to start working back on the Trader Taxi to hopefully get a few things knocked out on this thing. We've got semi casual's newest employee. Got his work boots on. He's ready to go to town. Hey, what you got there? You gonna help me wire these lights up? Can I have that? Can I have that? Thank you. You boxes. You can see Daddy's truck. Come on. Let's go. What is that? Oh, that blue? <gasps> yeah. Tools and parts. Stuff for you to swallow.
Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Oh, that was like having a baby or something. Why is this butthole out like that? Because it's pooping. No, it was like literally out. <laughs> like, <laughs> looks like his insides were coming out. That's a bull, too. <laughs> is it really? I don't know. What do you think about the pulling truck? It's a beast. Bought this instead of a house. Yeah. It's definitely having a baby or something. What? What are you doing in there? Big old truck. Like oh, ain't got enough air to air to seat up yet. You ready to go? Come on. Okay, guys, so excuse the mess, but we're back up here, finally getting to work on the sand, play with the kids for a little bit. And we've got these brackets, they're an AJP bracket that they are from Shift, and what they do is they hold these watermelon lights, really cool lights right here, these really cool brackets, and we can shove some lights up inside here inside the suspension bracket there so the only trick is you have to assemble everything inside of this bracket from what i've come to find out so we're going to show you guys how we assembled this and you can pick up these brackets and some of these other lights over here like we're going to be installing on the front here shortly um from shift i think it's shift vendors or shift.com i'll put it right here on the screen you can check it out so the lights i found that work the best are these grand general classic watermelon service mount and the reason they work the best is because they are the shortest um, and we can slide them either from the front, depending on how much paint is on yours, or like that one slid right in. The others I've had to slide in from the back. Um, and the part number is 81940. They're amber, amber, and they off offer all, obviously different color combinations, but this is the one we got. So uh, I'm going to snip the black wire because we want the brightest possible, and the bright is your dim running light, and the red is the brake slash turn signal. So we want these things to be bright all the time. So I'm gonna grab my cutters here. We're gonna go ahead and trim that boy back as close as possible. I'm not gonna use that wire anymore. And um, we're gonna get this thing in there. So now, like I said, if you can't get it from in from the front, come right here, Bob, show them. The back of it is almost like the shape of the, of the light. So it will slide right in from the back, just like that. So once we've got it in there, obviously you gotta assemble all this good stuff. So we'll get all this assembled and we'll get these things mounted up. Just like that, we've got our light installed, bracket all together, and there's a bolt up inside here that that bracket hooks in behind. It's kind of hard to show all this stuff, but I'm gonna tighten this light down, and this bolt's gonna clamp onto that bracket. It's gonna hold it up in there just like that right there. It's gonna look really cool. Hopefully illuminate the fenders and all that stuff, because we've got four brackets total in this truck, and they're all getting a light. We're filming right here, sir. It's a fake cry. It's so fake. Here, tell the people what this is. Tell them what this is. Yep, there you go. That's a new light from Shift Products. Right there, it's gonna shine really bright. And you just installed it. It's all bolted up. 
You can see he's real happy about all the lights we just put on the truck. Oh, look at all that slobber on daddy's fenders. Yes. Get it all over him. Get it all over him. Have you seen those memes on 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 a on a Facebook where they're easy to clean these day? You gotta get this fender all clean. All clean. Oh, we're happy for a moment. <laughs> oh, here you go. Oh, oh great. The truck. So Gunner and the baby, everybody's getting antsy. <laughs> oh boy. But we got our lights installed and they're all working. See the light? You want to touch it now that it's on? Yeah. That's a really awesome bracket, you know. You would never think that you could put a light up in there or even find a way to mount it, but... So we got all four of them on there, even on the other side over here. We've got these lights installed. And it really just like adds that little bit of flare to the side of the truck. And you know it's gonna eliminate these fenders really good. We almost need to find like, put a light back here somewhere, like right there. Yeah, probably. But I'm tired of wiring. <laughs> Maybe another day. Watch, he's gonna, he's gonna get pissy. Oh no, I'm just gonna touch everything. So basically the back of the truck is done. Shock will be up here on Monday, I think, or maybe we'll be up here. And we've got to secure this um, deck plate a little bit more just to kind of level everything out. There's some brackets that pick it up some and, and level it out underneath the fifth wheel in a few spots. So we've added a bunch up right here and all this is nice and kind of smooth where it needs to be. But up here, it's still a little high underneath the fifth wheel. You can see us where I can move it up and down where I've got to get in there and secure it. But for now, we're getting this thing turned around see if we can install that grill. Things will look sick. Up here again we're gonna get this grill cut out and we've got to cut all these huck rivets out from the back how do you get the ones up there in the very front you just gotta lean up there and get them you just gotta, yeah you gotta get this up in there and do it okay uh before you do that though let's unbolt the the bug screen are we gonna put that back in it yeah okay so you just take these Fine. Uh, he says we need to pull this bug screen out first we're gonna pull it out Yeah, yeah. Well, so once you once we take all these out, you put these back where they go. Yeah. And then, and then what holds it in the middle? Nothing. <laughs> you don't have to. It's just gonna get a lot of shit on your grill. Well, I don't know. That grill's got really tiny holes. Yeah, it does. You might not have to. All right. So now I go to cut town. Now you go to cut town. Cut, cut them all out. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna try to cut through something that I shouldn't. <laughs> Yeah, it should take it on. I thought it was going to be like a massive pain. Okay. No, I mean like a, uh, it really should take it on. Dang, a lot of pressure.
Corbin. All right, we got one side done. We uh, can we go to the other side and work on that side. Sorry for all the air compressor noise, but I think we have to slide this boy forward. Oh, yeah, we got to pull the rest of the grill bars. Press down and then go forward. Oh, biscuit. You're right, we do gotta cut those. One, two, three. There's a few we missed, but we're getting them now. Got you. Did it get you? Almost. Stuck on there, Bruce. Mm, that was hot. Again. Here we go. One old grill coming out. Right next to all your new paint. All right, let's clean all these old hooks out of here and move forward. Let's turn the old ones going the right direction. That would be funny. <laughs> Stick it in the outside there. Push the center up, I'll hold the outside. Way too big to fit the hole. No, that one's next to you, Trent. No. There you go. Ooh, that one worked. Yeah. So, where did the little trim ring go? It slid backwards. Kind of put it. Oh, 
Stick through the holes on your end just to keep them lined up. On the top? Yeah, just so. And uh, drop. Yeah. So wet. And then do one down over right here. Like, let me get it. Yeah, it's more enough. You just need like four or five total. So hand me a long one. You got the hot gun? Not yet, but we gotta do the other side still. Yeah, I'll get it. Grab the hot gun. Go to the other side, help you line up the other ones. Yeah, that was the end cut. Alright, we're good. So now you just hand me a few, hand me a, uh, the rest of the nuts there, and then uh, start with some long ones on the bottom. There's two right above your head. Above my head? Yeah, on the, on the ground. Uh -huh. Alright, so. That one's gonna be a short one. That's a short one? Yeah. Next over all over. Next over all over, I guess. Yeah, those look kind of long. Like. Stick it in there. Hear me? Mm -hmm. like they look a little too long there, pal. Yeah. There's a lot, of, a lot of smooth sticking up through the hole. Take it on. Okay. And that's the one that's sitting on the metal, the blue metal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ready? Mm hmm. Press harder. Yeah. And that's a blue metal. Stick one of those through it. It's on the orca's gonna break. Give me the short ones. We'll put along with the rest along with the last. Got to go to Hucktown, baby. Huckatropolis. What is that? We're having a hard time. Huck City? Where? It's right in front of you. Other one. Oh.
something. Yeah, right here. I feel like Cletus would be very good at this. Why? Because he's got arms long enough to do them all. I wash my eyes. I get hooked. I'll go to the other side here. All right, so all the hooks are in here. Brian's built us for his overtime on a Sunday, New Year's Day, but this grill is in here. <laughs> it's gonna look good. All right, Brian, do the honors. I get a, I get a charge for this. This is this is awesome. Are you working? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Best day ever. Dang, that looks sweet. It does look really good. Now I should get in here and polish some of the stuff up. Get all of our, our towel stuff out of it. <laughs> Heck yeah, boy. The, the, the dudes at SH do a really good job. That changes the look of it completely. Yeah, the whole truck. They do such a good job too. Well, I told them, I'm like, they're like, well, what kind of holes do you want in the front? I'm like, I don't know. Just pick something. Just pick something. And make it look good. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks really good. Heck yeah. Alright. What you doing there, bub? <laughs> I just polished my new grill. So there it is. Our Custom grill from SH Tube is all installed. Man, this thing just looks absolute top notch. We've got a lot of cleaning to do on it. Um, I know it's not going to be something easy to keep clean. I know you guys are going to point that out, but you know what? For how much we're using this truck, and with my other new truck coming next year, I'm sorry, I say next year, here we are, January 1st. Happy New Year, buddy. Uh, with the other new truck coming, this one's not going to be used as much. This one we're going to be taking around to shows, hauling some trackers every now and then when the family goes with me and stuff like that. So. This thing will stay pretty clean, parked inside somewhere warehouse up here in Tennessee most of the time. And I know everybody's gonna be like, oh, you're not gonna have enough airflow, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> like I said, this thing's not gonna be towing heavy. I really don't think this is gonna change much. You know, a lot of the trucks in the wintertime run the covers and they don't ever have any overheating issues. And I know it's a lot colder weather, but still I think we're gonna be okay. Brian and I were talking, maybe we should go ahead and go with some old school headlights. We're not completely 100% set on that idea yet and changing up the hood emblem and getting rid of it and just putting some uh, recessed grab handle in there, the old school look. So comment down below, do we get rid of the headlights and go with like some old school 359 single drop round headlights? Um, and also what do we do with this uh, grab handle up here? Do we get rid of it? Do we keep it? Do we change it to something that looks like a tracker? What do we do? You guys let us know, but that's pretty much a wrap for our video. We've done a ton of work on this thing. Grill got installed. We got our shift light brackets installed. Shift did send us these other lights right here to install. They go up underneath the um, fenders here, but I haven't decided if we want to do amber and red, and I may actually get a hold of them and send one of these back and just do, um, what do we say, red right. on the front and rear side of the fender because we're going to be doing all red underglow. Shift makes this really awesome kit where you can put red underglow underneath the whole truck. So we may get a hold of them before we install these and say, hey guys, I want to send these back and get some red ones and we'll install all those at the same time. But the lights, I know we said it to our blue in the face, the lights that go in those, in those suspension brackets are just absolutely awesome. And who would have thought you could show a water belt of light in there? And I can't wait to see what it looked like. Well, we saw what it looked like the other night we pulled it out, but driving down the road, this thing's just gonna look like the cat's meow. I'm freaking pumped, I love it. The last thing we're waiting on to complete our, thing, everything we've been doing with the truck since we've been up here in Tennessee, are these big stainless hub covers and we'll have those in the next few days and i would like to put some kind of a light underneath the fifth wheel i think that would look really freaking cool but we've got to figure that out maybe another pro problem for another day so yeah make sure you guys smash the like button comment down below on what we should do with the grill or with the grab handle and the headlights and subscribe and our subscribe the following video we're going to be pulling Business expense, the sled pulling truck inside, and tearing the part and see what all it needs.